Hi, I'm Travis and I'm an engineer on the academic team here at National Instruments. And today I want to show you a new approach to teaching communication protocols for digital electronics and mechatronics courses. As you know, communication protocols are important elements of mechatronics and overall system design. Understanding the various protocols and the pros and cons of each allows engineers to make decisions on which type of communication protocol goes with which design. And it helps them with building even larger design systems. While this exchange of bits and bytes of data is rooted in an understanding of concepts related to binary, timing, and voltage levels, the challenge is that students must be able to choose the best option for their design. This type of decision making must be based on more than just a theoretical understanding. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you a lab where students can learn about three communication protocols. Here I have an LCD character display that I want to communicate with and it's wired to the UART channel on an embedded device called MyRio. I can use either UART, I2C, or SPI to communicate with the LCD character display. So I'm going to first explore UART. So UART uses the serial protocol, and I have it wired up here using a power, ground, and the communication line. And if I run that VI, you see that I'm getting updated data from the accelerometer on board the MyRio, and there's also a display for my button. So if I press it, you see that it's sending that information to the LCD display. Now let's go ahead and take a look at SPI. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and close the UART. And what I did in hardware was I rewired our circuit so that our LCD screen is now following the SPI protocol using these connectors here. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we're getting the same accelerometer information from the MyRio. If I press the button, that display updates. Now let's take a look at I squared C. I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up and close out SPI. And once again, I made some hardware configuration changes, as you can see here, to get it ready for I squared C. If I go ahead and run my VI, you'll see that once again I'm getting updates from the accelerometer on board the MyRio and I can press the button here to interact with the LCD screen. So you're starting to see that this hands-on setup allows students to quickly interchange communication protocols, allowing them to investigate the implications of each type of communication protocol and gain personal experience with each type. With this approach, students will not only have a deeper theoretical understanding of each protocol, but will be able to rely on personal experience the next time they have to evaluate which communication type is best for a design. To further explore this approach, download the free courseware Project Essentials Guide linked on this page.